All right, all right. 17 February 2022. And we have an article here from Game Rant. Game Rant. All right, what are they saying? So we have NVIDIA and AMD prices are steadily coming back down. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see the prices down yet. I don't see the availability up. So let's just go through it. This is for entertainment. Let's have fun with it. The GPU market is still in the midst of shortages. Yeah, mixed with hike prices. Yeah, scalper prices. But recent data, recent data shows that AMD and NVIDIA cards may be getting cheaper. All right. Uh, let's see. There's always a discussion about graphics cards here, the gaming tech, and it's difficult to get a hold of. And that's still apparently the case. Intel is promising millions uh, with its upcoming RGPUs in order to combat the shortages. Uh, let's see. The, it seems the entire gaming generation has been drowning in the deficit with no real end in sight while it continues to rage on. There does appear to be a sliver of good news which states that NVIDIA and AMD products are starting to come down in price slowly. I actually wish and hope Intel is just going to come out and say, blammo, we've got these energy efficient uh, GPUs. We've got lots of them. Come and get them. NVIDIA has been playing this uh, pricing game, shortage game, selling to preferred miners be out the back door uh, and then, you know, making the M uh, MSRP fixed price for retailers. It's just, all right, enough is enough. Full disclosure, I do have NVIDIA stock and I'm down 20%. Awesome, right? <laughs> that teaches me for buying NVIDIA. Well, maybe it'll go back up. All right. All right, according to a recent report from PC Gamer. All right, so we got Game Rant talking about PC Gamer. And we're rocking and rolling. It cites that from the German website 3D Center, graphics cards from both Team Green and Team Red are starting to get cheaper, while it also looks like availability may be going up at the same time. Uh, according to the data, the average price of an AMD card is around 145% over MSRP. Wow. While NVIDIA is averaging around 150 per, 157 percent over MSRP. This is still high. Yeah, no kidding. But considering that in last December, this was much higher, it looks as though prices are once again on the downswing. Yeah, with the crypto market being down, we are what? Come on, buddy. 2,900 on the ETH, 40. Oh, that dropped a bit too. Wow, we had a little bit of correction here again. It was at 44 yesterday and 31 respectively on Ethereum. I don't know what's going on. Things are going down again. You would think people would be unloading their rigs, the uh, the weak hands, selling their stuff. Uh, that may help drive prices down. You get used stuff cheap. That may be an option. You just don't know. Just keep your eyes out. You just got to keep all your links, stuff in your cart that isn't available, and see if the prices go down, and then be able to jump on it when it's ready. All right, so there's that report. Uh, let's see. It's worth stating that the information is likely in relation to German markets and retailers. Yeah, who cares about Germany? Really? Come on. Let's go on. I don't like this article anyway. The report also goes on to say that the recent release of the budget uh, 3050 and 6500 XT could also be the reason why prices are coming down. I don't know. The 3050 came out and they kept promising, oh, it'll be 200 bucks. It comes out of Japan about 500 bucks. So give me a break, right? There is also nothing to say that prices won't go up again. Yeah, supply demand, guys. Welcome to the real world. But the current trend over the last few weeks does show that it's starting to come down. So this could continue for a while longer. At the moment, it's difficult, it's difficult to say when things will finally return to MSRP. I don't know. I think scalper prices is the new MSRP. Right? Right. On top of that, the chip shortages could be ongoing until 2023. Yeah, that's the real problem is the chip shortages for autom autom uh, automobile manufacturers, everyone, the appliances, everything, guys. Though, some feel that things will start to look up towards the second half of this year. The reality is it may be too soon to start breathing a major sigh of relief. Too soon. Oh, well, of course, prices coming down is always going to look good but they are still way above what people should be paying. Yes, that is true. They are still way above what people should be paying. 
Having said that, it's understandable that some will leap at the chance to get hold of a new, C a new CPU, a new GPU. Yeah, and that's that whole Best Buy thing where you buy that um, Secret Society Club thing uh, for 200 bucks. You, uh, you get in there, you have the chance of maybe getting a GPU, but you're already out 200 bucks because you had to get into the Secret Society, but you're not guaranteed a GPU, even though some people said they have scored some. But how many do you really need if you're going to buy one or two? Are you going to get your money's worth out of the 200 bucks? I don't know. I don't know. It's too pricey yet to get your ROI. If you're gaming, whatever. If you're mining, you're not going to get your ROI back on these cards right now. Just the way it is. Okay, let's see. It looks like as though the major competitors in the market are getting ready to move into the next era of graphics card technology. With AMD recently announcing its RDNA 3 and the NVIDIA 4000 series supposedly, supposedly, supposedly ready to go sometime this year. There's a chance that the current generation will never know what, is, what it was like to be part of a normal technology market. Yeah. And then here's a video I did the other day with the GPU shortage, gaming lopt, laptops, gaming laptops and pre-builds are the only alternative. And the caveat there is make sure the graphics card is already in the pre-built. Don't go to these light technology places where they custom build your uh, server, workstation, gaming PC, and they'll say they have the GPU, but they don't, and you spend months trying to get your money back from them, and then you pay a restocking fee. It's ridiculous. Make sure it's in there. Stay with uh, trusted uh, retailers. Don't go to like light and all these other places that build custom PCs. It's just not worth the risk. Trust me, I've been there. All right, and that's it, man. That is it. There's nothing more to talk about. There's no comments, man. Oh, well. Uh, so there you go. I don't know. Just keep looking. My, my advice is I do have uh, updated in-stock alerts on the Discord server in the link below. You can see stuff that's in-stock. The prices aren't really the great. Sometimes they are good. You just got to keep fishing, keep fishing, keep your eyes open. If you see one, grab it. Yeah, my big card right now is the uh, 6600 XT. It's uh, low power. It's efficient. And it mines 32 mega hash on Ethereum and about 70 watts on power. Quiet little card and typically one 8-pin plug to plug it in. And then that's great. Uh, sometimes you need two pins if it's like the Red Devil. But yeah, just got to keep looking on. Look on eBay. Look on Newegg. And Amazon, not so much. They're scalper prices. Uh, you just got to keep looking. All right, guys, that is all. What do you think? Have you been seeing the prices coming down? I know you're scoring cards, but are you really paying MSRP or are you paying 150% over MSRP? That's always the question. You need, to, you need to hear the word from the street on what's going on. All right, guys, go forth to great things. We are eight minutes into this. That's more than enough. Uh, thanks for listening. Take care. Blam.